First-generation nuclear thermal propulsion, or NTP, could enable both faster transit between the Earth and Mars and a series of advanced space missions. Nuclear thermal propulsion is powered by nuclear fission, which has been used on Earth for more than 70 years. How it works is conceptually simple. Energy from fission is used to heat hydrogen to about 4,400 degrees Fahrenheit. This hydrogen is then accelerated through a nozzle, resulting in a propellant efficiency roughly twice that of the best chemical rocket engines. Nuclear thermal propulsion was considered for use in the Apollo program, and significant development and ground testing was accomplished. Advances in technology since the 1960s may improve its affordability, viability, and acceptability. For example, it may be possible to fuel modern NTP systems with low enriched uranium instead of highly enriched uranium. In addition, it may now be possible to ground test NTP systems at established, safe, self-contained rocket engine test facilities. For human Mars missions, the physical size of an NTP engine is largely determined by the rate at which fission energy can be transferred to the hydrogen propellant. However, the equivalent volume of the uranium that would be split is actually quite small, roughly that of a toy marble. That energy is used to get astronauts to Mars faster. NTP can take months off the trip compared to using traditional chemical systems. Reducing risks associated with exposure to galactic cosmic radiation, microgravity, and other hazards of deep space travel. The maturation of nuclear thermal propulsion will also facilitate the development of fission surface power systems, enabling a power-rich environment at any exploration location. Abundant power could also be used for in-situ resource utilization, life support, communication, and other diverse applications. First-generation NTP systems are a first step towards advanced nuclear propulsion systems capable of travel throughout the solar system.